All right, apparently there's been some follow-up since the last Johnny Somali situation that we actually reacted for Asmongold stuff, right? Johnny Somali's worst nightmares become reality. Baldi, give it to me. <laughs> this guy, bro, like, what's he got ramen noodles in his hair for? After Johnny Somali... <laughs> what's he got ramen noodles in his hair for? <laughs> That's just his shitty perm. <laughs> the blonde perm he got. I hope he was at least somewhat fucking respectful to the hairstylist that did this, if he got this in Korea. Hair for. It'd be actually even funnier if the hairstylist knew who he was and just fucked his cut up. After Johnny Somali and his two buddies were taken down by one Korean dude, yep. a literal line of other Koreans formed, asking to fight him next. Bro, sure. this guy's Imagine a loot goblin. Your Instagram DM. Let's, Let's fight. fight. Ooh. Ooh. I will kill you. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, uh, based 20 mile radius to where i live be prepared to see me and tell a korean navy <laughs> yo we got military <laughs> again like everybody in korea right men, men have to they serve military time they like so this shit is hilarious how now we got military motherfuckers posing up he says so fuck went out and actually found him in his uh -huh. hotel. Basically, Odiga means where are you going? He's saying Somali, Odiga, Johnny, where are you going? Where are you going? And jumped. And now you. This is so fucking funny. Day five versus day 35, bro. Dude, her channel is actually so good for content. Like the way that she does storytelling is so fascinating with the time the topic that she talks about. I actually want to react to her channel. So do you remember back in like Burning Crusade when you would see somebody who was low level or like low health yes, running sir. outside of Shatrath? And you, you camp them. You spawn camp these noobs. You would follow them until they went outside of like the security zone and then you could kill them. Yes, this is it. Remember this, like back in BC. This <laughs> back in BC, I was there three thousand years ago. This dude did it to Johnny Somali. He followed them out. He was in the hospital for getting beat up. He gets oh, followed yo. out of the hospital, and then as soon as he gets far enough away from the hospital, they start beating him up again. <laughs> yep. Like, the hospital is literally a spawn point. Like, in Grand Theft Auto, you die. Where do you spawn at the hospital? You go out. <laughs> and, like, the hospital is like a safe zone. And once you get out of that safe zone, boom, you're in PvP territory again. Yo, He's getting spawn kept. He is. And now YouTuber Rotten Mango mm -hmm. decided to cover the incident. But to uh -oh. explain the significance of this is on YouTube, she has nearly yep. 4 million subscribers. Bro, her TikTok content also goes crazy. Her channel, her different like business income streams, it's insane. That's a lot. With 1.8 million views on this video oh, wow. in the first week. And even though I've seen similar numbers recently, Rotten Mango or Stephanie Sue is in the top 100 on Apple Podcasts. Again, like she got a fucking podcast too. Like she has, she is so ridiculously successful. And the way her content is done, like, I've seen just clips of it, right? I haven't seen a full video, but on TikTok, she pops off and she just picks, like, the craziest, like, news story scandals that's happening across the world. A lot of Korean content and people love it because of the way that she does storytelling. That's a lot. And even ranked number 17 on Spotify Damn. with the second most watched Killing true it. crime podcast. So what even though me, Asmon Gold, and Abon Preach have received millions That's of views me. covering Johnny's descent into internet obscurity, hey. we yep. all kind of sit under the same umbrella online, sharing much yep. of the same audience and repeated viewer. But step yeah, the same audience and repeated viewer. Like literally the last Asmongold video about Johnny Somali video, I titled it Korean Asmongold can't believe Asmongold's opinion about Johnny Somali's 29 year sentence. What do you think I'm doing? Of course, there's a fucking market for this that's rooted in his audience that I'm latching onto so that those people will show up and see that, huh, my content actually does resonate and aligns with their beliefs because I am literally just fucking Asian Asmongold covering anime content. Ebony Sue in the Rotten Mango podcast mm -hmm. introduces Johnny's crimes against Korea to millions of Who's Asmogold? I don't know. People. 
which is only going to apply further pressure to the Korean government to do something very uncharacteristic and absolutely throw the book at an American as Send them to North Korea. <laughs> no, don't. Remember how we had the theory that maybe uh, Kim Jong-un would find it funny to have Johnny Somali as a court jester and make him dress up and role play as Dennis Rodman? Here's what would be the problem. Like, what, what would... But, like... Because there is also a situation where Johnny Somali gets sent to North Korea and he becomes a national celebrity there and they love him. <laughs> no. Because he made fun of South, South Korea. Korea and he yeah. was making fun of them. Like... And Japan. I mean, here's another theory that could happen, bro. Because, like, think about that. That would be probably even fucking funnier, right? I personally enjoy the uh, Johnny becoming Kim Jong-un's court jester theory, right? But uh, anything, honestly, would be good content. No shot. Yeah, what if, what if he goes to North Korea and they like him? Insane timeline, yeah. It, like, it, it'd, be nuts. it'd be cinema. Something like 16 years in <laughs> prison Rodman. is on the table. And although it's. Dennis Rodman, boom. See? They know it too. I'm telling you, man. They would make him role play as Dennis Rodman because Kim Jong un is obsessed with that. Seems silly that a podcast documentary can actually impact the outcome of a court case. Just remember how R. Kelly's crimes Ooh. were basically an open secret for yeah. several decades until Lifetime made a documentary about him, uh -oh. reminding the public to demand justice. This guy is the one that sings ballads, but then peed on kids, right? He a diddler. He pees on kids. The public to demand justice. As this even Oops. has NBC News well, by the way. on Johnny Somali or Ramsey Khalid Ishmael mm -hmm. with Dick Sertos. By the way, apparently he's not even from Somalia. Like, I, I, I have no understanding of his lore of where he actually comes from. But some people said that he's not even Somalian. He's simply borrowing that fucking name as an alias to make them also look bad. Stating he's facing up to seven years in jail for sharing AI generated content. That's right. This is the deep fake content that Korea is cracking down on right now, which could obviously be huge in terms of like setting him as an example to, you know, hinder other people from doing this shit. Like in Korea, there's kids having group chats where their teachers are made into deep fake content, right? Deep fake porn. Like that's what they're doing there. And like, it's getting crazy. Content, putting his previous actions under a microscope, which now may actually lead to terror charges. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Johnny Somali accused of violating anti terrorism laws after South Korean bomb scare? Wait, what? What, what, do you, what do you mean, bomb scare? What kind of new development has there been after he got, you know, he desecrated, you know, the statues that was meant for women who were just victims of war crimes? He fucked around with the deep fake shit. He also was just a public nuisance, no respect for anybody, and now. There is a bomb threat? I hope those- Bro, he going, he going to be a terrorist? Oh my $3 god. $3 super chat for Going to Guantanamo Bay. he's been basically begging for international notoriety. Did they, and they now, got rid of that, right? They got to bring that back. Now he's put super both chat? himself and South Korea's justice system in the spotlight. So if they want to avoid advertising themselves as spineless jellyfish to the international community, the Kuwait, further yeah. inviting more unemployed behaviors to plague their streets, they're going to need to lock up Johnny for a very long time as those videos might actually be his final goodbye to the internet. That's why it's great we have the sponsor for today's video. Oh, See, that's what they, Raycon. The, bro, they need to do that. They need to, uh, like, I think that th that would be the most entertaining outcome. What? If Johnny Somali gets exiled to North Korea, <laughs> and because of his disrespect of South Korea, North Korea loves him, and he becomes a national celebrity. I mean... Me personally, I would love it if Johnny just got what he was asking for. And rather than being celebrated in North Korea, he somehow becomes like the jester of Kim Jong-un's court being forced to role play as Dennis Rodman for the rest of his life. That is the most entertaining thing that could happen. Would be good content. I, I'm, I'm just being honest. With Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping...
All right, all right, Raycon ad segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your free Raycon. Get your free Raycon. Get your free Raycon. And back to the content. The sword, when bro. he was literally being that. hunted during his live streams. Mm -hmm. So he switched to live streaming inside what appeared to be an empty room until Internet Sleuths caught a brief glimpse of a oh, blurry pizza, pizza box. box that locals were quickly able to identify. Remember and that happened he... with Andrew Tate, even though it didn't actually happen? It was people Lagoon everybody, everybody pizza. thought it did. It was really funny. He tried to antagonize the Koreans even further. Yep. They caught a reflection of the room off his cell phone, oh, identifying idiot. a particular exit sign oh, and an internet cafe monitor oh, as a idiot. chat filled with messages. <laughs> Open the door, found you. Found you. YouTube with Duguim is, the, is the, you know, rip Somali. There's a lot of, you know, people that can find you through these cues, bro. A reflection of a fucking sign. PC cafe pizza box, bro. What the hell? Killer exit sign oh, and an internet cafe monitor oh, as a idiot. chat filled with messages stating they knew. Found yeah, that's the thing, bro. Like online internet, like bro, the, the the level of ingenuity that happens when all the monkeys online come together and they just become the best investigators that the world could offer. And you. Dalderman's okay, okay, ba. Means like. Keep talking shit, right? Keep, you know, keep talking like that and keep doing this shit. YouTube Nuguim. Ah, this kind of means like YouTube. Who are you on YouTube? Knock, knock. Rips. <laughs> it, knock, knock is hilarious here. Because there's no K. Because some, obviously, like, Korean people, they have some understanding of English, but not really. So some stuff like this, the silent K is gone. So knock, knock. Yeah, it sounds like an N would be in the beginning, right? Somali? Now you dead, man. Open. I wonder what this guy said to have the entire message censored. The door. Where he was staying. As shortly after that, that Korean ah, Navy SEAL found him. him in the street. But luckily for Johnny, the local authorities were nearby to rescue him. My hat, my hat. That pisses me off. And I know it's his job. And he probably doesn't even want to do it. If he knew about him, he probably wouldn't have wanted to do it, but god damn it, bro. Law enforcement getting in the way of bullying this piece of shit who deserves to be bullied. I mean, there's gotta be lines drawn, right? And the policeman is doing his job. <laughs> but yeah, it should have turned a blind eye. <laughs> should have taken a bribe. <laughs> Someone should have just snuck on a fucking bill and be like, Yo, can you just give us like 10-15 minutes? And he'd be like, oh! Parking ticket! Oh, I think gonna, I, I see illegal parking ticket. I gotta handle over there. I'll be back in a bit. It, it would be really funny if the local authorities start beating the shit out of them too. Me too, man. <laughs> He's gotta go Arresting right back Korean in. UDT seal that showed absolutely no remorse. Based. Good night, Somali. And to my understanding, I don't know what he that said. guy had his bail, luxury hotel, and upcoming yeah. legal fees crowdfunded as he's basically seen as both a local and international hero. <laughs> Just that he's paying him to beat the shit out of this guy. That is amazing, bro. That guy literally had his community fund the bailout. The boys and girls were there with the money to get him out, but also bolster him and make more content beyond this. This is just, this is just community at work, man. What lovely community he has. As I predicted oh, what happened God. years ago. So being afraid to live stream anything but Korean audio, War, he's resorted John to a <laughs> what, what, what is this? This is his title of the stream. Why do you have one hashtag S and then immediately you have another hashtag that says start Asian hate, like, like, I, I, I get the start Asian hate part, but w what about this initial hashtag and S? Is he just so stupid that he tried to do it and he made a mistake and he decided to just keep that in rather than deleting it, pressing two buttons? Essentially Somali. hosting conference calls on X, as these could barely gain a couple hundred listeners, uh -huh. which is a huge drop off from his. Th <laughs> that is so disgusting, that he has his dumbass face on the going the laughing Mary bro. The Going Merry, bro. This is One Piece, right? This is the Going Merry, right? The OG ship from Usopp, right? <sighs> we have his dumbass face on this shit. I hate this.
thousands of video views, and wow. the millions of people who would tune in to see him find out. Mm -hmm. Which again was another one of my predictions, that he would slowly slip into internet obscurity as he provides nothing of value other than internet fame and fortune. And that's the thing. People get tired of the same shit happening over and over again. You need to ante up. Like, I think even that's the same situation with Jack Doherty right now, right? Where more people are starting to realize that people don't watch them because they love them. They have no community. They have no core content. Their entire content, content is based on being shitty and creating, you know, these outlandish moments IRL. And... Once you've kind of got people, you know, bored because they've just seen the same antics over and over again, what happens? I guess you say I have a bomb, and that's what might have happened to Johnny? For whoever can find him in the streets, yep. or for insanely famous podcasters that make thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars off of. Well, and that's I really what it is. People like, people love what- Bro, three hour video, 3.3 million views. I cannot fathom the amount of money she's earning on YouTube right now. And that's just YouTube. Again, she's got TikTok. She's got Instagram. She's got all these different, you know, podcasts and streaming deals. That's crazy. And people like this get fucked up. They think it's hilarious. Agreed. I think it's hilarious that he does get fucked up. It's very uh, frustrating, right? But here's the beautiful thing about online. People are always here to farm. Me included right now. What am I doing? I'm farming Asmongold farming this guy's video, right? And for one shitty thing that happens with Johnny Somali, Many other people then profit off of it. He truly is the loot goblin, a piñata, the gift that just keeps giving, and he just keeps making a fool of himself. Koreans are a very tough demographic. You think so? I don't know. His face is just beatable. Well, I mean, I think that's kind of. I mean, you can see that. I mean, that that's. I mean, it's not really an. It's not really much of an observation now, is it? Got a very punchable face, yeah. Imagine she'll get at least 3 million views, showing yeah. a new side of the internet, exactly why he's despised by everybody else. Mm -hmm. And he starts stripping off his shirt. He's lathering oil on himself. Trying to dance all up on this female figure, rubbing baby oil onto uh, her. And uh, the Korean like P. Diddy. Uh. Baby? Why are people... What's this baby oil thing, man? So, apparently the baby oil thing, right? Uh, basically... People think it's ridiculous that Diddy had that much baby oil, but it turns out the baby oil was laced with drugs that kind of acted as, like, like you lather that shit on and you get a high off of it. Like, it's not just random baby oil, or at least that's what the lore I heard. Surely people wouldn't lie online, right? Who does this? Kids are screaming uh. at him in Korean. And to make it worse, that statue is supposed to be of a kid, which may make his dance a much more... Not that this suddenly, like, like, of course it's terrible. It was already terrible, but goddamn, I didn't even know about this. Symbolizes the you she lost at age 13. For serious crime. Uh -huh. So at least a Johnny Somali, worst case is he streams that garbage to a couple thousand people on the shadiest streaming site mm -hmm. online and nobody notices. And best case, I guess, is he's featured on the number two crime podcast in the world. Jesus. Then the mainstream news media picks it up. And Good. now you're going viral for making a video doing very suggestive things Good. to a statue of a kid that was specifically made to commemorate how foreigners committed S crimes against kids. So he thought he was being funny to idiots online yeah. when he was really reopening one of the most sensitive issues in South Korean history. And I still believe that he knew of this. Maybe not the exact age, not as if, like, listen, the age doesn't really, it does matter, but it also doesn't matter, right? Because like suddenly, like, yeah, it's terrible that it happened at 13. It's still terrible regardless of any, anything else, right? Like, you know, sexual crimes, you know, war crimes that happened back in the day. Terrible shit. But I think he still had an understanding due to the nature of what these statues represented and how he was being so sexual around it. I still believe that shit was intentional. And now making it about him. And speaking of sensitive political issues, after he was streaming... This is where he got the ramen noodles. ...alongside some girl, recording himself vandalizing another guy's home. Johnny later displayed to his live stream AI generated videos of him hooking up with a female streamer, which violates a brand new bill specifically made to charge people with those videos. Oh man, it happened on September 26, 2024. Like, boom, just happened, and he also just fucks up. Up to seven years of jail time and a fine around 22k USD. Oh, like, bad timing. Yeah.
or good timing really bad timing like dude bad timing for him and good for us of all the times to do that that was the chosen oh, one oh jeez he's just topping everything off yeah this guy is done seven years in jail so some korean politician is about to boost their entire career off this incident yeah. as there was never a worse time to be this ignorant to local laws and i don't dude i think a lot of people are just actually doing so well because of his idiocy yeah, like even this right now right the politician like this is the perfect example the perfect person to make an example out of so many other content being made just going viral because of his you know retardation online so i feel like there is a balance in the world some sort of homeostasis but rather than but so it's it's not like a one-to-one -one, but like he fucks up and so many people suddenly like gain from it i don't think johnny's intentionally speed running going to prison but if he was i don't think he would do anything different as Dexerto <laughs> previously reported he was facing 10 years in jail which started no, that was the, those were the good days for him now it's that's right, it's like 29 plus what? Up to like 20 or 30. From his first charge of causing a commotion in a convenience store, that in comparison was one of his more milder offenses yeah, that he recorded just... himself committing. Uh. Stupid. F you. F you I love how she actually called him out though. Rather than just like walking away in silence, she said, fuck you. F you. F you, Chinese. But just like she ain't Chinese. So let me get this straight. Johnny, this is, let me get this straight. Okay. You are in Korea. Yeah. Spamming Hiroshima Nagasaki. While also calling the girl Chinese. Very inclusive, diverse person, huh? So many things happening. He's in Korea. Screams of buzzwords to trigger Japanese shit but also then calls women Chinese. He just got it all. He got the trifecta. Calling the Koreans Chinese? Yeah. That's about it. Someone in chat said it would be like cruising around dressed up as KKK in the USA. I mean, you are putting a target on yourself. You are symbolizing and saying shit that is just so hateful. Asking to be the pinata, the loot goblin. Is this even funny? No, it's really funny to me. It's so funny. It's so stupid. The funny part is the stupidity. He's a degenerate. He's a fucking retard. Yes. But... He is aware. He's not calling them Chinese thinking that they're Chinese. No, 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 no. He's intentionally doing this to piss people off because calling people, you know, different races and assuming that they're all the same because they're Asian, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very low level insult. Pan, he'd been bothering their citizens for a while until the authorities arrested him over something simple as yeah. trespassing into a construction site. Yeah. Now the Japanese made the mistake of letting him off easy, believing his lies and just deporting him. And the citizens are already seeing mm -hmm. the effects of a- The worst part when he got deported off Japan was how he was so just out there saying, I'm gonna do it again. There's no apology. There's no lesson learned. You fucking give him a slap on the wrist and you get him away. Do you think he learned a lesson? No, he's thinking he got away. I'm going to do this shit again somewhere else. Allowing foreigners yeah. to completely disregard your culture. Which that. is why I think Korea has to absolutely throw the book at him. Yes. Not only did the entire world see some idiot twerk and pour baby oil over a statue of a little girl. And by the way, the girl is almost as tall as he is. Like, I don't know. Uh, that, that's like something that we didn't really talk about at all. I don't know if the statue is life size, but it was tall as him. Oh. I don't know how tall he is actually. But I noticed that. Yeah, I mean, Japan deporting and just letting him getting away. Cause like when when you condemn this guy and put him in jail, who's paying for these services, right? It's it's the government, it's the tax, it's the people of Japan. When when Johnny gets put away in jail in Korea. 
it's the Korean citizens collectively paying for that with their tax. But sometimes, I think it's worth, sometimes, an outlier like this, it's important to make an example of, to really show and prove that you can't do these things or consequences will happen. I think it's worth it. That's sad, bro. Damn. Damn, bro. That's just disappointing, huh? Wow. Also, it's a small violate yeah. a brand new law specifically made in response to public outrage over deepfakes. Mm -hmm. This case goblin? is becoming so high profile that if they don't imprison him for at least half a decade, People gonna be they're mad. basically broadcasting not only yeah. to Koreans, but the entire world that their laws actually don't mean anything. That's and right. Good, right? And pressure is on. I hope we prove that like we're not to be fucked around with. Streamers know this as legal mindset is begging people to come forward. For example, yep. the people that he sexually harassed, you need to go file a complaint. Right now, the system looks at how many charges are there. If this guy gets 10, 20 charges against him, he's screwed. As the convenience store wasn't the only place he bothered workers, he also bothered other streamers. He bothered random buskers. He and his stupid Korean friend bothered random girls in the streets. Hey, 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 girl, you want me on stream? My friend Shia, you. you know what? I'm gonna ask, there's this one girl in Korea. What the fuck is this retard doing? Why are you acting as a fucking tour guide and being shitty in Korea? Because this retard also is just clout chasing. Just a bunch of pathetic losers that has no core content or any sort of community. No charisma, no personality, no way to entertain other than to make a fool of themselves and cause harm around everyone else. Ugh, just disgusting. Yeah, that I know. I'm gonna ask her if she knows who this is. <laughs> Even following them is the in the girl's stores. Name Brad? Why are you <laughs> ran back in the store? Bro? Well, I'm gonna crash out. I'm gonna crash out. The best part is that he's recording all of these instances. And yeah, the guy said, you know, if there's been any one of those assaults, you should come out. But like, these streams, it's literally just exhibit A to Z. All of these streams, he records everything he does. And that's another scary thing to think about. What does he do behind the streams, you know? When he's not streaming and he's offline, do you think he does even more heinous shit? Part of me thinks no, because he only cares to do these grandiose things when there's an audience seeing him to act as a lol cow. So when there is no attention and no one is watching, I don't think he'll be compelled to crash out like that. This is your friend right here? And shouting at old ladies just begging for change. Get lost. <laughs> okay, okay. Terrible person. Something about telling an old lady asking for change does get lost. I, I don't know. There, there, there's something absurd about that. <laughs> Just like a poor old lady. <laughs> and this dude saying get lost. <laughs> Jesus. Yelling at homeless women. <laughs> Jesus. That get lost. <laughs> Bro. Oh man. Who is this guy? Terrible thing to do, but the absurdity of that act was ridiculous. And he's quite a fluent speaker in English, huh? Part of me thinks that uh, he is not a Korean resident or a local. Maybe he could be. Maybe he learned the English abroad or somewhere else. But this level of fluent English makes me think that maybe he's... Not Korean citizen, maybe he's from somewhere else, somewhere in North America, I'm not sure, and just showed up here with Johnny. I don't know what the lore is with this guy. What, what's he doing with his arm? Oh. Be careful about that. Yeah, if he had a stash right in the middle, ooh. And this trench coat, ooh. What's he doing with that? What's he, damn, man, people do that still, wow. How about that? 
As much as I think Johnny and Johnny Jr. are losers, I think that Korean dude that follows them around for secondhand he clout is the most pathetic person yes. I've seen on yeah. the internet. So, bro, like, you are Korean. At least I think you are. You are a clout chasing a clout goblin who does nothing but insult your own people because he doesn't care. It, it, the reason I brought up the point of I don't think this guy's a Korean, you know, is because of the fluid English, but also his dissociation with, I guess, any sort of loyalty towards Korea and his just the way that he's emboldened to shit on this granny or just anybody in Korea in order to gain attention for himself is just, again, monkeys really do play with other monkeys, man. They're all just losers. Misery loves company. The shitty just attracts other shitty. Like, bro, you're out here doing this for what? You think this is going to upstart some sort of fucking business? Some sort of brand that you can be proud of? Like, people are going to forget about these retards in, like, less than a week, right? Well, I feel no sympathy for him, they put him as in he jail may too. have legal issues of his own, yeah, and he's pretty much earned it. Hanging out with a guy that literally despises his entire existence. I like to make content that makes people violent. I hate Asians. <laughs> I honestly, I think all Asians need to be extirpated. Somebody please. I hate Asians. All Asians deserve to be what? Exterminated? This is their true opinion and i think that um there is a degree of this which could be extreme opinions in order to sound extreme without actually believing in those kind of beliefs but uh on a scale of like a racist tier list this is like pretty up there huh please put this on the news tomorrow which of this too why i don't know i don't know what asian people did to him I think that, again, he doesn't really care. There's no personal connection. Maybe there is. Maybe Johnny has a sad flashback story. And we're still waiting for the backstory to hit. Like, this some fucking Don Da or Demon Slayer shit. Or the bad guy at the end. It's just like, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. There's a reason why he turned out like this in the backstory. Maybe there was an old Asian granny that fucked him up. I don't know. But the personal connection, I'm not too sure. But in terms of, like... Creating sensationalism by saying outlandish shit like this? That kind of makes sense. Turns out to be a crime in Korea, punishable by up to seven years in jail. Yeah. On top of the time he went into their subway system, Brad... Oh my god, this is the bomb. 나에겐 폭탄이 있다. 나에겐 폭탄이 있다. 나에겐 폭탄이 있다. Basically repeated over and over and over again. A three dollar... Thank you, Pomi, with the nine months of Prime. I appreciate that, buddy. But this person named Swan has sent $3 with this, you know, loud <laughs> TTR. Sorry, what's, what's this called? Uh, basically, when you donate money and it's just loud, they just spam it over and over again. And it means, I have a bomb. TTS, that's the one. I have a bomb. This is what it means. So over and over again, it, it just spamming, I have a bomb in the whatever public, you know, situation they're in. Casting that he has a device. Jesus Christ. Which again violates local laws that could get him an additional two years in prison. Oh, only two years? So Dexerto said 10 years in prison. My math here adds up to 16, with some people even saying 29 years. Mm. But I guess the sentence length is irrelevant when Korea had an over 99% conviction rate. Now I understand law. If this Good. dude gets sent to jail for like 30 years. Good. You know what's going to be really funny? What? When, here's what's going to happen. He's going to go to jail. He's going to do four years of his sentence. Yeah. And then we're going to get a Democrat president that's no. going to trade Johnny Somali for another for who? international terrorist. <laughs> to get him out of jail. Dude, it, what? Is there anyone like that worth trading Johnny for? I don't fucking know. That's what's going to happen. I don't know about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You mad? Don't even start that. No, I'm just saying it could happen, right? I mean, hey. Me personally, I'm a very vindictive person. I am a type of person that says an eye for an eye. No, I'll take two of your fucking eyes out if you took one of mine. I'm a very vindictive person. And 30 years, that ain't shit. I demand a Coliseum system, bro. 
I demand that Coliseum where every Sunday we make a show about Johnny. Every Sunday we'll have Johnny fighting for his life. It'll be an entertainment reality TV show. And that way we can also make more revenues to offset the cost of, you know, the tax burden that's been placed by the Korean people. We'll be able to subsidize that shit. It should be a government program. Every Sunday, this motherfucker has to go out there, survive as a gladiator for our entertainment. I think that would be very fitting. Prison sentences isn't as common in Korea, but the justice system is more of a deterrence for future offenders than rehabilitating Some previous offenders. Existence. So this particular scenario has I'm zero creative. drawbacks. When you can prison someone for several years, mm -hmm. then immediately deport him back to his home country. And yeah. although incarceration is incredibly expensive, it just might be worth the worldwide headlines of yes. Do not frack with Korea. Yep. Yes, your fucking reputation's on the line, Korean system. People are going to think you're a joke if you let this go. Do not let a repeat of what happened in Japan happen. Make a fucking condemning case out of this. Show people that you're not to be fucked around with. Discourage this kind of shitty behavior just all around. And I hope other nations follow suit once these stupid IRL streamers go around crashing out. Thinking that that's the way to get internet clout. Like, no, 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 no. This needs to be stopped. Yeah, we got exactly. military age men that'll beat you up everywhere. We got yep. high speed internet to live stream your beating from every angle. Then we let you rot in a box over laws you never knew existed. Oh. And that message is priceless. So if you I appreciate hope they do that. I do hope they do that. I really do. Like, the people, and also, I think that, like, really. All of the I'm going to be annoying in public. Like, I think that being, like, doing streams in public where you interact with random people, there are a lot of guys, like, you know, like, that one black guy that was pretending to be Johnny Bravo? Totally. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, I, at least I think I know that guy. There's a guy on TikTok whose entire brand is eating food and making Johnny Bravo noises. He did different type of, you know, personality traits before, but, yeah, I, I, that's a food review guy. Totally cool, no problem. Yeah respectful, funny, non-intrusive. That's right. The content comes from him kind of making a fool of himself in order to advertise restaurants and different food brands, or at least the guy that I think he's talking about, right? There's a clear distinction in people who are out to humiliate and insult other people's IRL, right? Basically profiting off the expense of others versus people who are coming in here with a very respectful manner of making sure that they respect the customs and the culture of where they are, but at the same time, doing whatever they do without bothering others, right? I, I think there's a clear separation here. Not IRL, not every IRL streamer is the same. Nice. That's perfect. Yeah, it was cool. But there are some real nasty little dick suckers that just... Yes. Oh, something's got to happen to them. Yes. Something. Bro, we need the Batman. <laughs> Listen, I know that vigilanteism never goes right. But a part of me wishes that there was some sort of different arc in this Johnny Somali saga in Korea or Japan or whatever. Where someone was actually showing up as the Batman. And just, just fixed all this shit up. Needs to happen to them. Like, and I'm not talking about, oh, somebody needs to beat them up. I don't care about that. I want the Batman. They need to go to jail. I want them to go to jail after getting beat up by Batman. They got to go to jail, man. Like, it, it's crazy because the reason why they do this shit is because they think they can get away. Because there's no consequences and he has gotten away as it's correctly right. Why would Johnny stop doing this shit? No one has ever made an example out of them. At worst, it's a fucking detainment that they get released later on as they realize that it might not be worth the hassle. It's a slap on the wrist and you get away. If you want to discourage this kind of behavior, you need to fucking crucify someone. You need to make, it's like a symbol of hope, but rather a symbol of fear that you do this shit? No, punishment comes along. Way with it. That's the reason why. Light order commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality. Hopefully I've earned your subscription. Then go check out the video on exactly why you need to protect your country's culture before yeah. it's too late. Uh -oh. Based.
Which Johnny will you feed? I don't know, man. Yeah, they should send him to Somalia. I don't know. I think it would be respectful. No is no, and consent is important. I feel like it's so obvious how to act. Am I weird? No, and it is obvious how to act, and that's the thing. They know how to act, and they're intentionally making the choice of crashing out because they know that this is sensationalist content that drives engagement. Pathetic losers, again. They have no content behind this. They have no charisma, no personality, no anything. Their only sense of entertainment is by insulting and humiliating other people, right? Profiting off the expense of others. That is the most like cringe loser behavior there is. You're basically saying that you are worth nothing. This is the only way that you can have some sort of fucking attention. And when you do that, many people also think that you're a fucking retard. They're not watching you to support you. They're watching a dumpster fire, a train wreck. A lot of people will watch a train wreck because it's interesting to see what kind of bullshit it's going to turn out to later. That like, it's so obvious when you're acting like a little rat versus when you're not. I, I, I don't think it's really complicated at all. Just be normal. Yeah, just be normal, bro. Like, But being normal doesn't get clicks. People desperately crave attention online. What am I doing right now? I'm doing the same shit. But at the very least, I hope that I'm staying in my own lane and providing humorous entertainment around anime shit usually, right? To have fun with you guys. There's people who genuinely cannot do anything but hurt others to profit because they're fucking losers. Just stop being fucking weird. And that's it, because assholes like Jake and Logan Paul, the douchebag Jake Doherty. Yeah, you know that kid grew up watching Jake Paul. You're right about that. But, like, face-to-face, -face, marketers are annoying. Yeah. Watch the Taiwanese streamer sent to Cambodian prison. <laughs> California raises these types. I see a fucking chatter here. <laughs> Probably the most fucking conservative fucking, you know, uh, redneck fucking mindset. Oh, them liberal Californians is why we have Johnny Somalis. Uh, I don't think a liberal household would curate this kind of person. I, I think a conservative household would also curate this kind of person. At the end of the day, it has to do with lack of parenthood. A child that wants to seek attention so badly, realizing that if they crash out on social media, it's a quick way to get attention. It, it just has to do with shitty parents and the nature of social media that rewards negative engagement. So that's, that's bad. You should act like you and five hearts. No, Johnny Somali is. Uh, he already did that. That's why he might, might be going to jail. Yeah, that's the problem. And uh, Jack Doherty is a garbage human being. Oh, you can't name a single crime Trump committed. How interesting. You talking about Trump? What are you mad? Are you still mad Trump won the election? He's still. What the fuck is happening here at the last second, last minute of Aspen Gold's videos, bro? We're just talking about everything else but this case right now. President, bro, like you mad? Why don't what you go you write another tweet about that on Blue Sky? Why don't you go talk? Why don't you go? Uh... Go make another post to, and, and tell your friends about it. Take your meds. Yeah, bro, like, go ahead. Go ahead. You, you're going to get mad about Trump. Oh, wow. Is it, what about Trump? Who cares? Who gives a fuck about Trump? Shut up. What's happening right now? <laughs> What's this here? No, what I'm responding to another chatter. I'm not against Trump. What the fuck? What are we sorry, doing right everybody now? Everybody at Tuke 117 I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were being an obnoxious bitch. It okay. Turns out that you weren't. Redeemed. Somebody else is being an obnoxious bitch. R redeemed. Okay. I'm nice. Sorry, that's my bad, bro. And uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, so. Anyways. Yeah, I'm sorry, but remember that one prankster that got shot for ranking a person after he kept telling him to leave alone? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I do. Yep. That's what happens because you're getting involved in people's space, man. You're uh, you're you're in 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 you're being invasive. All right, that's pretty much the video. But at the end of the this day, at the end of the day, for like, again, if, if this cloud goblin does not pay the consequences, it's going to happen more and more. And it's going to signal to other cloud goblins that this kind of behavior you can get away with. Make an example. Crucify him. Please do something to discourage this disrespectful, heinous behavior. 
from tourists shown to fucking foreign land. He knows what he's doing. He deserves what's coming. I wish there was a fucking Korean Batman. And personally, I would want the fucking Coliseum system. Again, a government subsidized program, entertainment every Sunday. Have Johnny Somali fight for his life in the Coliseum for our entertainment and pay back his debts. Here's a link to the video. Please go support Asmund Gold, a very small channel that's only a 3 million you know, subscribers. But with your help, maybe we can get that shit to 4 million. Goodbye.